Hi, I'm Karen Fury, and I'm here with Dr. Bill Powers, the chair of the writing group of, of the new 2018 Acute Ischemic Stroke Guidelines. Bill, thank you very much, and congratulations on preparing the guidelines this year. Well, thank you. I, I have to say, credit goes to the writing group. I mean, this was a wonderful bunch of people, and it was a pleasure working with them, and it was my pleasure to, to head it, and also to the American Heart Association staff who did a tremendous job supporting us. There have been so many new trials that have really transformed the field. Can you get us, give us a sense of the major changes that we'll be seeing in the updated guideline? Well, I think the biggest change is the extension of the treatment window for acute ischemic stroke out to 24 hours. We've known for quite a few years now that intravenous alteplase is effective out to four and a half hours, and several years ago we acquired evidence that mechanical thrombectomy was effective in some patients out to six hours, and now with the publication of several new trials, we now know that there are selected patients who benefit from mechanical thrombectomy out to 24 hours. So this really increases the number of patients for whom we have treatments for acute stroke that will benefit them by reducing the, the disability from stroke. This is a major step forward for our patients, but I imagine that implementation of the new guidelines may pose some challenges. Can you speculate about what the next steps would be to put this into place? So these new mechanical thrombectomy treatments, which involve actually pulling a clot out of an artery that leads to the brain, um, require a great deal of specialized training for the person who does it and a great deal of specialized support systems in hospitals. So it's not something every hospital will be able to do as opposed to intravenous alteplase, which pretty much every hospital can, can be trained to do. So this is going to be a major change to develop systems of care for local patients to be evaluated at their local hospital, treated with intravenous alteplase if they are eligible, and then rapidly identified to determine if they're candidates for mechanical thrombectomy, and then transported to the places that do this. So this will involve a lot of coordination between hospitals in regions. It will also involve a lot of coordination between emergency medical systems that transport patients from hospital to hospital across county lines, sometimes even across state lines, to really create a system where the people who need this treatment can get to it and benefit from it. Thank you. So this is a very exciting time now that we have a therapy that could be applied to a greater number of patients presenting with acute stroke symptoms. And as Dr. Powers has said, um, this will lead to better outcomes uh, for patients suffering from supravascular disease. Uh, we're ent entering a very interesting new phase of trying to coordinate uh, uh, local and regional activities around stroke, and that's going to require buy-in not only from vascular neurologists, but from EMS, emergency medicine physicians, and other healthcare providers. The updated 2018 Acute Ischemic Stroke Guidelines uh, are available online today in the journal Stroke.